Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Bluntec Total Blender. It has a 3 horsepower direct drive motor. It measures 7 inches wide by 15 and a half inches tall and weighs about 10 pounds. The BPA free square jar holds 32 ounces. The flexible rubber lid has a plastic insert that you can remove to add ingredients while blending. The two pronged blade is ultra hard stainless steel. The unit comes with a user guide, a DVD, and a recipe book. The book has over 200 recipes, including smoothies, milk alternatives, batters, dips, soups, meal ideas, desserts, even some pet treats. The recipes also have nutrition information listed, so it's very thorough. There are also some tips on fruit and vegetable prep, as well as substitutions and measurements. You can grind dry ingredients like grains in the Blendtec, but it may cloud up the surface of the jar. The touchpad has six pre-programmed blend cycles. Ice cream, ice crush, soups, sauces, whole juice, and smoothie. Each pre-programmed button runs for a specific amount of time, and that's listed in the user guide. If you want to stop a cycle, press any of the buttons on the lower row. There's also a pulse button and two speed control buttons. The speed buttons can be manually controlled. Press the speed button and go up to increase or down to decrease the speed. Once you find the speed you like, let go of the button and it will run at that speed automatically for 50 seconds and shut off after that. If you want to chop or whip, use the pulse button. It's just like using a pulse button on a food processor. You have to hold it down for the machine to run, and the machine will stop when you let go of the button. The LCD information center indicates any failure conditions and the number of times a blend cycle button has been pressed. It'll show an over temp reading when the unit is overheating. The power switch is in the back of the base. We'll test the blender by making a few things from the Blendtec recipe book. We'll make a berry banana smoothie, carrot juice, and frozen mojito using three different pre-programmed blend cycles. We'll start with the berry banana smoothie. I'm pouring in three quarters of a cup of water. One banana. The recipe calls for two cups of spinach, but I accidentally got a spinach and kale mix, so I'm just going to use that. It is two cups. And one cup of frozen blueberries. Put the lid on. Press down and make sure the lid is secure. Turn on the power switch in the back. The jar sits really easily straight on the base. We'll use the smoothie button and it'll automatically shut off after 40 seconds. While blending, you heard different speeds. There is some liquid that came out of the plastic insert on the side here. The smoothie is lump free, which is good. I'm going to taste it. It's perfectly smooth. And because of the banana, the kale and spinach don't taste as bad. You can't taste any fibers from the leaves, any of the skin from the blueberries. It's all completely processed. And there's no grittiness at all. The blender was stable and it did not move around on the counter. It is loud, as is most high-powered blenders, but it's not a deafening noise. To clean, add one cup of hot water and a drop of dishwashing liquid. 
Put the lid on, keep your hand on top of the lid, and pulse for five seconds. You can rinse it out with water after that. Dishwashing is not recommended. Of course, you can just hand wash the blender and the lid. The base can be unplugged and wiped down with a damp cloth. I just rinsed out the jar and it's really easy to clean because of the shape of the jar. There's nothing that gets stuck on the bottom. Next, we'll make carrot juice. I'm pouring in two cups of water. Two cups of carrots cut up or about three large carrots. One tablespoon fresh lemon juice. A small piece of ginger root peeled. And three quarters of a cup of ice cubes. Put the lid on. The lid seems to seal very nicely. We'll select the whole juice cycle. In the beginning of the cycle, the jar was moving around a little, so I put my hand on top of the lid. You'll notice there's a lot of foam on top of the jar. Okay, there was no chunk. I thought I heard something, but there's no chunks at all. I'll just pour the rest in. No chunks at all. Just gonna taste it. The carrots are pureed really well. There is some grittiness, but I think it could be just the natural texture of the carrots. I'm not sure if the carrots can, can be pureed any further than this. Now we'll make a frozen mojito. Pour in four ounces of light rum. A quarter cup of sugar. You can also use agave nectar. Quarter cup of fresh lime juice. and about 10 to 12 fresh mint leaves. Top that with two and a half cups of ice cubes. Select Ice Crush. Unfortunately, I had a camera mishap and can't show you the pour of the mojito. I had thought I recorded it, but unfortunately I didn't. However, the mojito tasted amazing and the ice was nicely processed. It's just as good or even better than a frozen drink you would get at a restaurant. You can easily make a large batch of this at your parties really quickly. It's a fabulous summer drink. I will be doing a Blendtec versus Vitamix video next. 
so subscribe to stay tuned for that. Overall, the blend tech did a great job of blending everything we threw into it. You will be spending quite a bit of money on this blender, but it does come with an eight year warranty. If you like a blender with a computer and pre-programmed cycles, the Blendtec is a very good choice for you. I was very impressed that the cycles worked well. You can just press the button and walk away. Cleaning is super simple. Nothing gets stuck anywhere in the jar. The Blendtec is really easy to use and very efficient. The link to the Blendtec is in the description below. I hope this review was helpful. Thanks for watching.